Welcome back to another video. By the time you see this video, Ali and I are going to be on a 16 day trip to British Columbia. So follow us on Instagram if you want to stay updated. We'll definitely be posting a lot of stuff every day. All right, moving right along. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your videos look extra good by incorporating light leak effects. These overlay light leak effects were made in camera. I made them with real light hitting the sensor and they were made in 4K resolution. So they are future proof or at least until cell phones can shoot 8K video. But in all seriousness, they were made in 4K and I'm giving away all 10 of them for free to you. So go in the description, click on the link, download them. And in the meantime, I will solve this Ruby's Cube. All right, there we go. All right, so now that you guys have the light leaks downloaded, let's open up Premiere Pro CC and I'll show you how to use them. So now we're inside Premiere Pro and as you can see here I have a 1080p sequence created with one, two, three, four, five clips in our sequence. Let's have a look at that. So it includes some slow-mo footage of Ali walking in various locations and overall the shots look pretty good as is but with some light leaks they could look even better. So let's head over to the download link and just go ahead and download all of these. You can do them individually or select them all and go to uh, the three dots then download. And then once you're in your computer, you can bring them into whatever editing program you're using. For us, we're using Premiere Pro CC. So let's go ahead and bring the light leaks into this project. I'll create a new folder called light leaks. And then I'll select the light leaks on my computer and then drag them into the light leaks folder. That will import them into Premiere. And then from there, I'll select them all and drag them onto the timeline above my footage. And we'll have a look at what they are. And as you can see, this is more of a red light leak. The next one is an orange one from the bottom right. This one's a blue one from the top left. This is an orange one that has like a white bright flash that goes to pink at the end and a few other styles. You'll notice when we bring the light leak over the footage, you actually can't see the footage anymore because there's the black background. In order to use overlays in an editing program, you need to work with the blending modes. So with the clip selected, let's go to effect controls and then under blend mode, let's change that to screen. Then let's play it back. And as you can see, it's adding a reddish light leak to the footage, which looks really cool. Okay, so let's cut it there. And then because this is 1080p and the light leaks are all 4K, what we want to do is under the video effects, under scale, let's scale that to 50%. And then let's watch it again. From there, we can mess around with the opacity. Until we get something that we like. Okay, let's try a few more different ones. So I brought it on top of the footage and then again, change the blend mode to screen. Let's have a look. Okay, let's change the scale to 50%. Okay, maybe we'll drop the opacity a bit. That's looking good. We'll trim it to the end of the clip. Maybe we'll try this one. Okay, so instead of that one, let's try this one. The orange fits a little better. That looks really cool as is. Let's go back to 50%, have a look again. And beyond that, we can change the colors to whatever we'd like, which gives you a whole bunch of other options when working with these 10 free light leaks. So in order to change the color, 
let's go to this clip. We'll bring it back up to 100. And you can see in this clip there's more greens. So it doesn't really make sense that the light leak is blue. So in order to change the color to more of a green, let's go to Lumetri Color. We'll go into Curves. And then we'll go into the Hue Saturation Curves. So with the Hue effect, under Hue vs. Hue, if we click and drag up or down, it will cycle through all of the different colors. And then we can start to dial in a color that we like. So that would be more green. We can try more of an orange. Now that we have a color we like, we'll go back down with the opacity. Okay, and now for the first clip, bring the opacity back up, and again, we'll go to Lumetri Color, the Hue versus Hue, and then we'll click and cycle through all the colors until we pick something that we like. And then second to that, you can stack all of these light leaks on top of each other to give you even more options. So let's take this clip here, and we'll stack that on top of this one. We'll go to effects, change the color to screen, put it to 50%, and then now we have two light leaks in one. And we'll try the same for this one, so we'll try that. 50%, change it to screen. We'll change the color so it blends a little better. And we'll try this one for there. Maybe we'll take the exact same clip for the second part. And then on this clip, we'll try to make it blend in more with the background colors. And then just like that, using just a few light leaks, you can make your videos look a lot more interesting. Now, in some of these cases, they might be a little harsh. You could, again, go into effects and lower the opacity on any ones you like. so that they're a little less obvious. But there's a lot you could do with just the 10 light leaks. All right, that's it for this video. If you haven't downloaded the 4K light leak overlay effects that I created, there's 10 of them. You can download them using the link in the description. They are completely free. I made them in camera, they are real, and they'll add another level of production value to your footage. It'll make it look a little more cinematic and high end. So download those and thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment down below if you have something to say. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified from us when we release new videos and we'll see you next time.